This video is going to cover rollover budgets and variable budgets. So for starters, let's assume we have a fixed budget at $20 a month. Budget at $20 a month, we go backwards, there's budget for, we spent five, budget 20, go back again, oh, we spent 500. So this is what we're starting with, $5, 20, 16, 20. But now what we can do, let's let's say we want a variable budget. So we're gonna go into edit, pick the category, and we're gonna turn on, I mean a, a rollover budget. We're gonna turn on rollover budgets. Um, and by default, it's not gonna have it reset the rollover, it's just gonna look like this. I messed up the first version of this video. Um, so it's gonna start like this. So let's see what happens with our budgets. And you'll notice that July, go to June, 500, it's going to roll this over, so we have $460 budgeted still, rolls over, uh, continue, oops, not available, go next month, 445, it's going to roll over a bit. So what we want to do is get rid of this stuff in June, so what we want to do here is go back into the rollover budget, and that's where we can pick the date. So we're going to actually set it to July 1st, and then tell it to reset the rollover. So now when we go into back to our budget screen, we'll see June 480 left, but then when we go to July, the rollover gets reset here. So we now have $20 budgeted in July, we've spent five, we have 15 left over, and what's going to happen is when we go to August, we're going to carry this $15 over and add it to the $20 in August, which gives us $35 balance for August. So and then in August we spent 16, we had 18 left over, so we're going to have 20 plus 18 the following month, so $38 that we haven't spent yet. So that is the rollover budget, <clears throat> um, and then we can go forward and you just keep adding the 20 to it. The next thing we can do is have variable budgets, and we can just do the same thing here. We don't need to have the rollover budgets on, we can just do it with variable budgets. Um, but now let's, yeah, I'm gonna turn off the rollover. So now we're gonna budget $20 a month, but let's say starting in, starting in September, we are going to start budgeting a different amount because let's say the school year started, and we can make this $40 a month. Done, go back. So now we're gonna see our budget, budget is $40 for September, $40 for October, $40 for September. August is only 20. And this is without the rollovers going. But so now you see it's you know 40. And then if we come back here and just pop back on rollovers, save this. Uh, August 18, available 58, available 98. So you'll see we're adding the 40 each month to it. And you can adjust the variant the variable budget each month however you want. You can have uh, add in multiple budgets. So if you want September to uh, January to be $40, and after January you want to reset it back to 20, you can make it, you can do that. So let's set the budget to January, and let's actually make this 10. <clears throat> so going up by forty dollars seven one seventy eight and now January hit and we're going up by ten from now on so that's rollover budgets and variable budgets and that's how they work